Steve Harvey's biological kids, Brandy, Carly, Broderick, and Winton have made it crystal clear that they have a lot of beef to settle with their stepmom, Marjorie, and their stepsis, Lori. And instead of settling it privately, they're airing so much dirty laundry, you're going to be shocked. I'm your father, so look, you know my story. I've gotten it wrong a couple times, you know. But what exactly did Lori and Marjorie do to them that has them so pissed? And why are they finding it so difficult to forgive Steve? Now, y'all know that if there is one man who seems to have all the right answers to how a family should be run, that guy is definitely Steve. But recent discovery is putting all of this so-called wisdom to shame, as his biological kids are revealing how Marjorie and Lori manipulated him into being an awful dad who believes the only solution to the issue they have with him is throwing money at it. And I'll tell y'all for free, throwing money at the problem is definitely not working, and Steve's neglect is causing chaos and drama within his family and destroying their carefully put together public facade which they've presented to the world for years. Okay, so recently an insider revealed a shocking detail about Steve and his family to Radar Online. And this insider basically called Marjorie a control freak who wanted everyone else, even Steve's former wives, to fall in line. The source said, Steve did the right thing adopting Marjorie's kids and loves them like his own. But there's a lot of dissension among the blended Harvey clan. And if you are curious to know why there's a lot of dissension in Steve's big old family, I'll provide some insight for y'all. Now, according to the story, the twins, Carly and Brandy, as well as Steve's two sons, Brozerick and Winton, are tired of Steve just obsessing over Lori only. According to reports, they are kind of jealous of Lori's high-profile relationships, which she has become really famous for, and the fact that Steve spends a lot of time during interviews either answering or evading questions about her and these relationships. But if you ask me, I don't think that is the only reason they are jealous of Lori. And I say this because not many people know that before Steve's successful rebrand as the father of the year, he more or less abandoned his first and second families when he was trying to hit it big in the industry. Like it was so bad that Broderick had to literally chase after his dad when he was 16 so that he could get a relationship with him. I didn't really have my dad full time into my life until I was 16, right? Meanwhile, Lori, who isn't related to Steve by blood, was getting the princess treatment and enjoying a relationship with Steve, where she could talk about men, dating, and all that stuff. Me on one of our annual father-daughter dates to my favorite Japanese restaurant. And you just started talking to me about guys, and you just told me that you, you know, always supported me, and you'd always be there for me no matter what, and you loved me unconditionally. And, and to rub salt in the wound, Brandy, Carly, Broderick, and Winton grew up with their father being absent in their formative years, whereas Steve has been a constant in Lori's, as well as the rest of Marjorie's kids' lives. Like this one user said, to be honest, I thought Lori was Steve's daughter. In his morning show, he always talked about Lori and praised her and her mom. I didn't know Lori had an older sister and brother. And to be sincere, who wouldn't make that honest mistake if they didn't know a lot about Steve's history? And that's that's because although Steve has tried to push his other kids to the limelight, like when he devoted some airtime to interview Carly and her husband, Ben Raymond, during their wedding preparations, and the other time when he promoted Broderick's shoe brand on his show, as well as made Brandy the head of his foundation, yet despite all of these actions, which seem quite forced if you ask me, he has shown that he is more devoted to Lori and Marjorie. At first glance, this seems normal because Lori obviously wanted to be a socialite with a lot of clout from day one, so the fact that Steve is already a celebrity is a good stepping stone for her career. Also, Lori and Steve lived in the same house, so yeah, proximity is another reason. And third, whether fans are pleased with it or not, Lori is more or less the last born, and there's that running joke of parents being kinder to last borns than the other children. But there is more to this story, and I think this user captures it well. They said, as a child from a step-parent home, it's the worst for many. The new mom, of course, manipulates and controls based upon her children. Goodness. Don't let them have children together. It's a real situation then, a constant struggle. And another user who agreed said, he loves Lori because he loves Lori's mother. His wife makes sure Lori is spoiled and his number one. That's it. Lori can do no harm in Steve's eyes. Marjorie wears the pants and what she says, Steve agrees to. Marjorie is from them streets and is always in control. And while all of this seems messy, I might just have to agree. Because Steve did not only ignore his kids before he got money, he was also physically abused 
abusive towards them, especially Winton. So, Winton's mom Mary had to call out Steve about a particular incident, even though she had a gag order by the court following her bitter divorce from Steve. Anyway, according to a police report about the incident, Winton was paddled on his buttocks and his thigh, and the aftermath of this situation was so bad that he had trouble urinating for several days after the beating happened. But Steve was never named as the person who abused Winton, neither did the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services remove Winton from Steve's custody. But in 2013, Mary got pissed about some disagreement and named Steve as the one who actually beat Winton up that bad. Of course, she was violating a gag order and this got her arrested for being in contempt of court while Steve was acquitted of the charges, which just seems shady to me. But that's not all. Marjorie was once investigated by the FBI and the DEA for playing a major role in her former husband, Jim Townsend's drug trafficking operations. Now, Marjorie was never charged with a crime, but according to Jim, who told Radar Online that he was writing a tell-all book, Marjorie was involved in his crimes and she was liable to be charged. Jim said, I have no allegiance to Marjorie. She showed her hand. I'm going to tell my story. It doesn't matter if she knows about it. And what Jim meant by she showed her hand was that just five years into his life imprisonment, Marjorie divorced him and some years later, she gave birth to Lori. So while Morgan and Jason are Jim's kids, Lori is definitely not. Plus, there is over a 20 year difference between her and Jim. And looking at her track record, she is completely capable of handling her and Steve's business. And it's very possible that she's the one calling the shots behind the scenes. And while some people are saying that Lori and Steve's relationship is just for the gram and that they aren't that close in real life, I'd have to disagree. Because back in 2019, Lori was arrested for crashing into another car while she was texting and driving. Like the situation was so bad that her Mercedes SUV flipped over and the bystanders who were celebrating Sakalf were so scared that it was a hate attack. Anyway, just before she was arrested, guess who she FaceTimed? Yes, you're right, she called Steve, and if this doesn't speak to the genuine bond that they share, I don't know what does. And also, when Lori started dating Future, Steve made sure they broke up because he was afraid Future would hurt her because we all know Future is for the streets. And this is further proof that the love Steve has for Lori isn't some PR stunt. Meanwhile, Carly and Brandy, who are 40 by the way, never got to experience this with him. And I can just imagine how angry they are for missing out on that formative relationship with their dad who abandoned them. And although it's very easy to say that he abandoned them so he could make them rich, I sincerely believe that there is no world where this is okay. And this user agrees with me cause they said, if as a child you had a parent who was primarily absent in your life, only to grow up and watch this parent extend a level of love and attention you never received to someone else, I don't care what anyone says, it hurts. Steve may be trying to vicariously make up for his wrongs to his biological children through Lori, but it sure as hell doesn't mean it's been easy for his biological children to watch. But how is Steve reacting to all of this craziness? Well, according to the insider, Steve's way of handling this problem is to throw money at them, buy them gifts, or just go into another room to chomp on a cigar, but it's not working. And seriously, I didn't expect it to work either. But tell me what y'all think. Do you believe it's high time Brandy, Carly, Broderick, and Winton moved on? Or do you think it's Steve, Marjorie, and Lori that's got to do the adjusting? Speak your mind in the comments, and I'll be seeing y'all in my next video.